What's up, everybody? I am Scott Baer, AtlantaFalcons.com, digital managing editor, and across from me, head coach Arthur Smith, who's sitting down for the very first time ever in our brand new Ticketmaster Studios. And you have hired a defensive coordinator in Ryan Nielsen since then. Uh, what really sold you on him during the interview process, and why was he the right fit for this team? Yeah, we had a very long and thorough process. It was great. We got to talk to a lot of different candidates and a lot of really good candidates. And, uh, you know, for us, it's all about fit, right? There's other great coaches in this league and guys that go with other teams, but Ryan fit us, fit our culture, and really it was his vision and how he wanted to implement that going forward. And, you know, you can get a lot into schemes. There's a lot of talks and a lot of people when they get in these interviews, they give you these grand, plan, grand plans and they really don't have a great implementation you know, to follow that up. And, and I'm very impressed with Ryan, you know, talked to him, you know, a few times as we, as we were going through this and, and he's hit the ground running. And, you know, there's some things we want to do and it's not necessarily going to be copy and print from what they did in New Orleans. I think that's the key. I would hope, you know, if you've seen what we've done here, certainly go back to offensively. We don't look the same offensively that we did in 19 and 20 in Tennessee. And we don't, we didn't look the same last year as we did in 21 here, you know, playing our strengths and, and whatnot. So, very excited about Ryan, uh, love his background. He's another big picture thinker, guy that was a former defensive lineman. Uh, love his vision that, you know, to develop players and really schematically about where, where we're, this is going, how we want to defend certain things, first, second down, kind of the trends going around the league. And you, and Ryan wasn't the only big name defensive coach that you added. You also added somebody that you have a long history yes. with, Jerry Gray, who, who's been a DC at a couple different spots. I think he's been coaching about as long as you've been alive, yes. maybe. Uh, why, uh, why was it important to add him to the staff? Well, it's about fit and chemistry and, and mix, and you want to have it, you know, a diverse group of opinions too, and mm -hmm. guys with different backgrounds, and you don't want ever want to be stale. You know, you have your, your non-negotiables and things that you really value, you know, in your culture and the way you, style you want to play, but you have to be willing to adapt to see the trends. And certainly with Jerry, you know, since I was last with Jerry uh, from Tennessee, he's, he's certainly changed and adapted. He's been in Minnesota, been in Green Bay, you know, had to face a lot of really good quarterbacks and being in the NFC North, uh, different variations of coverages, the things he's learned along the way. Uh, really fits into our culture. We're, we're really excited to have Jerry here too. He'll he'll be overseeing the back end. You've been really busy, obviously hiring um, a lot of these new coaches, but there's but there's no break. You're getting ready to head off to the NFL scouting combine. You have right. free agency coming up. Is this a really exciting time of the uh, off season for you as you look to upgrade this roster? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's certainly it's got a different feel than we've had the first two years. Uh, you get here, you're new on the job. There's a lot of things going on and. You know, some of the obstacles that you're trying to work through uh, in terms of roster building and yeah we, and we do it's uh, obviously it's not breaking news to anybody we, we do have a lot of cap space and we're excited you know we're about our plan going into free agency and, and certainly with this class we, we need another good draft class as well and this is a, a good and, and important part of the process as you get to Indianapolis you know you got everybody in there these interviews uh, really looking forward to those and listen to our scouts. These guys have been working on this class uh, for several years and it's important. It's and you've said several times that it's not just about finding the best 53. It's about finding the right guys. Absolutely. How important is culture fit when you're looking at signing new free agents or adding new pieces to your uh, next draft class? Yeah, it's, it's really important to us. You know, the, the easiest thing is to evaluate, well, this guy can run. Uh, you know, you can just see all that stuff on, on tape. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, wow, the guy's big, he can run, you know, the minimum job requirements in certain positions. Yeah. But it's about, you know, the, the mental makeup, what they're about, their habits, all these things you're, you're digging into and, and getting to know these guys. And again, you, there's gonna be a lot of guys here that we, we wanna coach that we'll never get the opportunity to. So, you know, some of it, the way it falls in the draft, mm -hmm. you know, some of it's luck and then, you know, the order where you select it. Um, but I think our staff has done a really good job to, in our first two years, uh, getting the, the character right, uh, you know, and that, that gets thrown out. It's, it's a vague term, but it's really about the mental makeup, their habits, things we're looking for uh, with these guys and, and, you know, growth potential and development. Here comes some quarterback questions. Uh, sure. Desmond Ritter, how do you think he did over his uh, four starts to wrap yeah. up 2022? Well, I think Des in the, in the four game sample size, uh, he improved a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think that the other things that, that I thought he did well, uh, he didn't repeat a lot of the same mistakes. You know, there's a lot of things that go on 
you know, playing late in the season like that, going on the road. Um, I thought he did a nice job handling those critical downs. Third down, fourth down, getting into situational football, two minute, certainly uh, week after week, improved a lot. And there's a lot of improvements he made from the time he got here. Mm -hmm. Why we're excited to work with him. So I, I do think Daz's future is bright. Is he your starting quarterback in 2023? Look, we're not naming any, any starters <laughs> right now. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of things that, that can happen. Um, you know, very, very excited about Dez, no, no different than we're excited about Tyler Algier and, and Drake London and, and, mm -hmm. and the improvements they've made and, and guys that are currently on our roster. You know, as always, all options are on the table. Anything we can do to improve this team, to help us win, and ultimately to win championships, that's what, that's what we're looking for. When you look back at this last draft class, you got some big time contributions from Drake, from Troy, all the way down the uh, line. Stacking draft classes is always key when it comes to having good roster depth. What, what do you think that you got from this most recent group? And are you really excited to see guys like Drake, guys like Troy continue to, uh, uh, to uh, progress throughout their uh, yeah, absolutely. professional tenure? You know, and they, that's the hardest thing about this, this league. I mean, it's a consistency. It's about any industry in life is to, is to improve in year after year. I mean, that, we've seen a lot of guys that come out strong as a rookie, and then you never hear from them again. Right. You hear from guys that people may consider a bust for the first two years, and then it clicks for them. And so there's a fine line in there as you're developing, and guys, as you're trying to push them, guys that were even part of that 21 class, or guys mm -hmm. that maybe were on the roster here before, and guys we've gotten through college free agency at post-draft, or guys we've put on one-year deals that, you know, that was the only – way we could sign them and you know you hope to get them get them back and improve everybody mm -hmm. um, but certainly you, you were excited about the way you know last year's draft class was rookies mm -hmm. as they finished you know I th certainly thought Drake and Tyler played their best football down the stretch I thought Troy did as well uh, AK all these guys but the hardest thing for them will be there'll be a whole new class coming in mm -hmm. and when you're adding free agents as well is that competition is real for players and coaches and, and that's that's the beauty of this league when you step in there you've got to prove it every year and so that'll be our challenge is, is to improve and, mm -hmm. and to win more football games. And we, we want to be playing, you know, late January and early February. Arthur Smith, thank you so much for stopping by Ticketmaster Studios. And we will talk to you again really soon. Well, I appreciate it, Scott. Thank you.